So, hey guys, welcome back to Simply Steph. That's me. Um, in today's video, I want to, there's a lot of things that uh, I need to go over. Um, there's a life update. There's, as you can see by the thumbnail, a crap ton of boxes, and that's not even the tip of the iceberg, okay? Um, that's just the subscription boxes that have been trickling in from June and uh, of course, I do have the Glitz Glam box right here, which is the only subscription that shows up on time. <laughs> First one of the month that comes in the month it's supposed to. So um, I always dedicate the video to that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I highly suggest um, that you grab a snack, you know, get some munchies, settle in, and uh, hopefully we can get through this. I have a lot to go over. Um, so much to tell you guys uh, there's been so much going on and uh, first I just want to apologize um, I will get into uh, everything in the video but I also want to say thank you because if you're watching this then that means you have not unsubscribed or given up on me and I can't thank you enough so uh, without further ado like I said get comfy, uh, maybe put the kids down, what have you. There will be a disclaimer um, when we get into the video, but uh, I am going to go over the Glitz Glam box for the month of July, um, along with a crap ton of other boxes, and uh, hopefully we can get through this. Um, I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible. It will probably be a little bit longer than normal, but again, there's a lot to go over. Uh, and no, I have not forgotten about the giveaway definitely picking the winners um don't know if i'm going to do that in this video because you know how i like to record it and everything so that might be in the next one so um and there will be a next one i am back so um yeah let's get into it Remember guys, subscribe, thumbs up, and your bell. Before we get started, before um, I get into everything, I'm going to go ahead and timestamp. Uh, I've never done this before in a video, but I'm going to go ahead and timestamp because I know this video is going to run long. So if you want to see, if you just want to see what's going on with this subscription, or if you just want to know what's happening and why I've been missing and why I have not been here, um, I will go ahead and timestamp each thing. I do have a bunch of boxes as well. I'm going to go as far as I can for as long as I can before I give out <laughs> um, and then pick it up uh, in another video probably tomorrow. I also want to pick the giveaway winners, um, but I can't do that in this video because I need to record that. And I, I don't have any devices set up or anything like that. I figured I'd just dedicate a video to that. So that is on and popping. I will timestamp everything down below, so let's get into it. Okay, guys. So like I said, welcome back um, to Simply Steph. That's me. Okay, so before I start this video, I want to put a disclaimer. Um, hang on one second, one second, one second. Oh, sorry, I just had to grab my little disclaimer thingy or whatever. Um, okay, I'm going to try and stay centered here. Uh, okay, ready? Warning, the following video is intended for mature audiences only. It may contain adult content and or language. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way. And the reason I have that disclaimer, guys, is because the things that I'm going to be talking to you about and, you know, uh, when explaining what's going on with me are, are, are emotional things. And, um, you know, I might sometimes, I, I, you know, I don't curse on my channel and uh, I try to always keep it, you know, family friendly and everything. However, when emotions get high and I get upset or distraught or whatever the word is, um, or animated, <laughs> sometimes, you know, things slip out. So better safe than sorry. Okay. So anyway, um, all right. So before I go ahead and open this very quickly, I wanted to bring you up to speed. Yes, I have not recorded any videos. Um, I have not been able to get behind the camera and, um, I, I did try a few times. However, uh, I just found myself, you know, breaking into uncontrollable sobbing and it was just crazy I just could not get it together enough to put a video together um I did have some videos in my library that are actually they're up on YouTube they're just on private um 
But I felt that, you know, since I was gone such a long time that I needed to come on here and explain what's going on. Okay, um, as you recall, my last post or my last... I have been on, not just like off of YouTube, I have been literally like pretty much 100%, I'd say like 99% off, like what's it called? Um, social media blackout. <laughs> I haven't been on. The last post I did was on Facebook actually. And if you follow me on Facebook... You would have read um that's why i always say try and follow me on all social medias because i don't have a community page guys if i had a community page i could always keep you up to date even if it was just a little paragraph of me you know explaining hey i can't do anything you know for, for whatever um i tried to do that on on uh, instagram however things got worse after that post um my last post on instagram um and i did get on facebook and just kind of like went off um as you know carly uh Queen of the Castle Carly is what I call her. She's my cat. She's more than a cat. She's more than a pet. She is my child. <laughs> um, I consider her... Uh, I, I have no children in the home. They're all, you know, off doing whatever they're doing. And um, so it's been me and her. She was a rescue. Um, when I got her, she wasn't even five weeks old. I had to bottle feed her, uh, drop her, feed her, bottle feed her, and then teach her how to actually chew because she didn't know anything. She... She couldn't eat. Uh, she was trying her hardest. She broke her teeth. Um, when she, The guy who gave her to me handed her to me, and she was so tiny. And I'm going to insert a picture here somewhere of what she looked like after I kind of, like, brought her back to life, basically. Um, so she's been with me uh, for a very long time, and she is keyed into my emotions, and I am as well to hers. So... Um, Carly suffers, she's, she's, got, she's overcome a couple obstacles, being that she was such a tiny, tiny baby when I got her, and then also um, she has some digestive issues, and that stems from, you know, being weaned from her mom too young, um, so it was always controlled by diet. Um, she has, when you look at Carly, she looks like a short-haired cat, however, if she were to fall on her side or lay down, or if you can see her stomach, she is has nothing but super long hair like it's so weird she's like short on the on, like on her back everywhere you can see when she's standing or like you know hunched down is very short hair but underneath her is super super long hair which means that she is prone to hairballs a lot of them now not only does she have that issue she also has what uh is called pika now pika is something that uh i think i mentioned it in my post pika is you know people can have it it's the it's the um compulsion to chew on things and for carly it's plastic and guys you know how many boxes i get in this house right so i'm constantly you know with aside from following her around 24 7 i do the best i can with the vacuuming and making sure there's no pieces of bubble wrap because bubble wrap is her ultimate favorite thing when she sees a box come in she gets so excited because she actually knows that there's going to be bubble wrap in, or at least she thinks and she's like 90 percent of the time she's right so um i have to quick put it away i mean she's knocked over the garbage to get it, I, it just crazy so i was always afraid and i still am that she would eat some plastic now it's, they're not known to chew they, they chew and lick but they don't usually swallow but i mean if they're chewing on something long enough and a piece comes off and she swallows it you know i'm always afraid that it'll be a blockage or something which is what i thought was going on with her um she is better but she is no by no means um you know back to herself at all she i took her to the hospital animal hospital because there were no vets now remember when this w was going on we have we're just about to go to, to the green phase you know with the covid and everything and um i called i called like 15 vets guys i went 50 miles out of my search range um you know 50 miles away from me and called vets and if i were if i was able to answer get an answer from them they were all like we're not accepting any new new pet you know any new patients and i was like oh my god so um Every one, of, every one of them told me this was the third day. She was not getting any better. She wasn't eating. She wasn't, you know, going to the bathroom. She wasn't drinking. She wasn't doing anything. She was sleeping all the time. She just wasn't herself. And I knew, you know, she looks at me and I know, you know, my cat looks at me and, and I can, I, I know what she's thinking. I know that sounds weird. And no, I'm not a cat lady, but, you know, um, I do have her and she is, you know, she's my baby. Um, so I panicked. Um, took her to the animal hospital per the vet's advice everyone every vet that I did you know speak to that was nice enough to even get on the phone with me said take her to the animal hospital so they recommended the animal hospital which is not too far from me and I did 
And I took her on time, got her there, and uh, she sat there for 10 hours before anybody looked at her. And because of that, they charged me an overnight fee. So, and it was like $800. It was crazy. So, thank God for my boyfriend, we were able to scrape up the money. They wanted to do further testing. All they did, the, the only thing they did was do a physical exam where they just like touched her. That was it. They did no testing, no nothing, and I had to pay this astronomical fee, amount of, of money just because she was admitted and she was overnight. And they wouldn't do anything else unless I gave them, and I did post this on Facebook, um, it was like $950 to $1,250. If I didn't give them that money, they were going to go no further. I didn't have it. And um, I was racked by a lot of guilt. Um, I told you guys earlier in my, in my YouTube, when I st first started YouTube, I am notorious for putting away money. I don't spend money. I try to save it. And prior to her getting sick, only two weeks or, or so bef before she got sick, um, you know, the last video I did was, I guess it was try, but before that, um, I was asking about phones because I needed to get a phone. Well, I purchased a phone. My boyfriend and I purchased a phone and um, I bought a bed. You know, there were certain things that I got for the house and I ended up spending money uh, quite a bit of money actually on things that were needed but in my mind I would have much rather have kept that money had I known she was gonna get sick well I'm not a mind reader and it took me this long to realize there's really nothing I could have done um, you know I mean she has good days she has more good days now than bad which is a good sign I still have not been able to get her to the vet um, there's no vets because now we are in green phase. Everybody decided they want to take their, their, their animals or their pets or their fur babies to the vet. So they had no openings. And the soonest, I, I believe I, I got an appointment for the 29th of July, which is like way off. And she wasn't getting any better at the time. And what happened was I got asked on every single vet that I was able to, you know, they said, we have an appointment here. We have, I said, well, can I made it? I scheduled an appointment with each vet. <laughs> And I said, can you please call me if there's a cancellation and I can bring her in. So there were um, a, a couple, a vet right up the street from me who's renowned. And she's a great, great doctor. Um, she's for the animals. She's not about money. I mean, you can kind of tell. I mean, I, I can. I can basically tell when, I don't want to say when, you know, there's a vet just doing it for the money. But it's a different kind of vet. There, there's the vets that really, really care about animals and money is really not a big thing. Um, they will work with you or what have you. Um, and then you have the vets like, nope, money or get out. And I was running up against all of those kind of doctors and I was losing it. Um, so we had that issue. Then um, I, I was able to get her on uh, one of the cancellation um, appointments, which was for the 17th. She'll be going Friday. It'll be the first time. But I had a couple of vets, including the one up the street that were not accepting any patients, um, get on the phone with me and tell me what I could do to try and make things better for her, hopefully to keep her living until I could get her to that. Now, I promise I was not going to get upset in this video. Um, I have tried to film this twice. <clears throat> so if I just run through this matter of factly, it's not because I'm cold and it's not because I don't feel anything. It's because if I don't... If I think about what I'm saying, I'm going to just sob, and I don't want to do that. So I've done everything I possibly can per the vet's instruction, and this just being a, a, a pet owner and, and having her as a fur baby and knowing cats and knowing her, I'm doing everything I possibly can to, you know, get her to the vet and find out what is going on. She has better days than she does not. However, she'll have three good days, and then she'll be down for three days or two days, you know. Um... I can always tell when it's going to be a bad day because I find her in bed with me under the covers, just, you know, barely moving and asleep. So there's something extremely wrong going on. She is going to the bathroom. She is eating very little bit, drinking very little bit. Um, I mean, it's just devastating. So not only did that happen, while this was going on, remember I got the phone. I, I got the S10. Well, I was giving her medication at 2 in the morning and... I ordered uh, a case for it from off Amazon, one of those like uh, Otter Box case or whatever. It cost a pretty penny, but it was supposed to be the best one because these phones are notorious, as which I'm recording on now, are notorious for breaking. Okay, um, one little drop and they're smashed. Well, 
it wasn't her fault. I was giving her medication with a pill popper. It's a plastic thing you stick down the side of their throat and you pop the pill and you have to hold their mouth closed so they would swallow the pill. And um, once she had it down her, I let go and she scrambled to get away. Um, and she kicked my phone off the bed. And it went flying and of course it was face down. It landed on the glass and it slid all the way. Like I have my room switched around now, but it slid all this way actually to the bathroom, which is over there, um, onto the tile, and it was demolished. As a matter of fact, uh, do I have it here with me? It's somewhere around here. Um, if I can find it, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. I didn't send it back yet. I had to get a replacement. So I did. I had to pay $250 more to get a replacement, which I did, which is more money now. You know, it... it okay, so... And besides that, the plumbing issue came back. So it was everything at once. Within three days, my life went from honky-dory to what the hell is going on? Like, what? who cursed me? What did I do to deserve this? Like, who? who is I mean to? Like, what happened? I, I couldn't figure it out. And normally, I'm not the kind of person that will succumb to depression or, you know, stress, like, you know, be feeling overwhelmed. Maybe for a day or two, I'll sit in my shit. Excuse my language. But there we go with the disclaimer. But what I will do is I get annoyed and I, I you know, I, I, this, I, I, I say to myself after like one or two days, okay, this is crazy. I get mad, I get angry, I get annoyed, I get up and I do something about it. And I tackle problems head on. Well, I had so many problems all at once. I wasn't seeing, I was just seeing the big picture. I wasn't able to because I honestly believe because I was so emotionally wrecked because of the cat that I couldn't really like separate the problems and then tackle them one at a time. Um, I mean, I stayed with that broken phone for a couple days. Uh, I mean, I, I could barely use the screen. It wasn't responding and uh, it was terrible. I, I had my LG, which is over here. Oh God, don't mind the background guys. I did buy an, a table, which is one of the things that came in that I bought prior to getting sick. Um, so I still have this phone, right? You see all the cracks in it? And I was using this one when I had the S... I actually wasn't even trying to use the S10 until the um, case came from, from Amazon. They said two days. Well, 2.30... It didn't come in two days. It said it was scheduled for the next day, which means it took an extra day. And 2.30 that morning is when the phone broke. I mean, it just couldn't have got anywhere. So I just... I mean, I know that doesn't sound like a lot... But just imagine, I mean, you know, she's like my child, you know, a human child will be going through this and, you know, I react the same way to her because she basically, it's me and her against the world. And Carly's had to come over, overcome some things when I had her neutered or spayed, whichever one it is, I always forget. Um, they hit a nerve and she couldn't walk for two months. I had to do physical therapy with her. I had to, um, three times, three times a week, morning and night for two months to get the feeling to come back in order for her to be able to get up and move around and jump and get back to her normal self. Um, and she is, she's, she sometimes gets off balance, but for all intents and purposes, she's okay. I mean, you know, as far as that, her balance and everything, but what's going on with her now, I don't know. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to dwell on that. So I decided that, you know, my boyfriend, I just cried. I just cried and cried and cried. And I, I, I succumbed to the depression is exactly what I did, and um, I'm not known for that. You know, people in that who know me, they know. I might get, like, you know, a little down in the dumps, but I get angry about it, and, and, I, and I'm like, you know, enough is enough. Like, just do this. Like, fix it. And that's what I am. I'm a problem solver, and I couldn't solve my own problems. I couldn't help my baby, you know. Um, and then I, I got so frustrated because I offered them as much money as we had. We pulled together. Um, I think it was, I, I don't even know. I think it was like almost $800 and they wouldn't take it. The hospital wouldn't take it. So the vet assured me that when I go to see them, that they will do things step by step because in the, at the hospital, they wanted to do everything at once or nothing. And I was like, are you kidding me? Can't you just like x-ray or see if there's a blockage? Um, I'll pay you the 275. Then we'll go from there. It wasn't like that. We couldn't do that. And in the vet that I do have the appointment with, um, I don't know this vet. It's the first time I'm, I'm taking her to this vet. Uh, I, I don't know, but they did assure me that they will go step by step and make sure that I have enough money to cover everything. Um, and I just have my fingers crossed. Uh, I, I'm on a no-buy-buy. -buy. 
Um, I have bought some things, and yes, I did get the Raw Beauty Christie collection. <laughs> um, I just, you know, I started feeling a little bit better, and that came out only two days ago. I did sit down twice to film this video, and uh, I couldn't get through it, so I scrapped it. But um, I'm here now, and that's what's going on. And it's just basically me and this freaking goddamn, excuse me, sorry, this damn depression that I let myself succumb to, and I blame myself. I blame, you know, I don't know. I, I, there's really nobody to blame, but I, I, the guilt was getting me. I couldn't believe, because I'm always like, you know, just it figures, because I go and I buy something that I need. I needed a bed, you know, and, and I needed a phone, and um, I go and I do this, and then she gets sick. It always seems like the other foot drops, and uh, anyway, okay, so I, there, that's the reason, and I want to apologize. Um, I know better now. That no matter what, I mean, you know, I, I always try to be positive on this channel. I always try to bring, you know, the happy side. But I got to I gotta realize, you know, and I'm sure you guys already know, and I, I can only hear the comments now, um, that it's okay for me to be vulnerable on this channel. It's okay for me to say, hey, I'm not all right. Um, I need help, you know, whatever. But I was able to talk to a few people just very quickly, like, hey, you know, whatever. Um, I didn't answer anybody's comments. I didn't even, I haven't even been on my creator studio. I, I don't know how many subscribers we have. I don't have no idea. But the giveaway is still going on. Um, I will pick three winners, and I will keep my word. We are going forward with that. And um, that's probably, I don't know, you know, I'm already 18 minutes now, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this box, okay, or, or this subscription. And then I have... I'm going to insert a bunch of pictures here because I have taken, when boxes were coming in, I was just putting them on the table. I have a, a table over there. It's like a big coffee table. I just sat. There were so many boxes. There still are. I mean, I haven't touched them. I have not opened them. I have not looked at them. The last thing I opened was my ColourPop haul, and that's the look I did when I was explaining to you, I think, that last video um, that I uploaded for Tribe. And... Uh, I mean, I'm going to show you. I, I have I have bins. I have nine bins, those 18-gallon plastic bins with the tops that, like, click down on them. Um, they're huge. 18-gallon, <laughs> well, they're not, like, giant, but they're big enough. Um, I have nine of those. And uh, there are three and a half that are filled with giveaway prizes. I'm working on the fourth. That's halfway filled. Um, so that will be the fourth one for more giveaways because after this giveaway is over, I have to have a barrage of giveaways. Because, I, And I'm not doing, this is not a giveaway channel, okay? I love to do giveaways because I love to give back to you guys. However, I need to make room. I don't have any room. Now, I am going to put some stuff on Macari because I'm not saying that for you to go buy it. Like I said, I do have some things separated, um, things that I have doubles and triples of, uh, Things that I'm not going to use that, you know, I can put into bundles or whatever. But there are at least three and a half bins of a whole bunch of stuff. And I have more coming this month. So, ton of giveaways. Can't help it. Got to get rid of the stuff. Um, and what better way than to pass it on you guys. If you guys have stuck through with me this long, then you deserve everything that I have in these bins. Because I'm not going to use them. I do have a little uh, box, well, not a little box, a pretty big box for the donations at the end of the year that I'm going to go ahead and take over to um, the women's shelter. I'm, you know, I was able to do that. Now, I did start to go through things um, a couple of days back, but I just so that, like, I, when I went to set up, um, I've tried to do this two days in a row. Um, I've gotten it pretty much, like, in piles, and I know what the piles are. Um, I have a freebie haul, which is gigantic. I have a haul haul, stuff I bought, and then I have subscription boxes, mystery boxes, um, yeah, whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, enough chit chat. I will timestamp down below um, for those of you who, I should have said that in the beginning, right? Maybe I'll slip that in. Um, hang on one second. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and, uh, like I said, it'll be timestamped. I, I already said that. But anyway, Glitz, Glitz Glam Box for the month of July. And, guys, I haven't put my makeup on in three weeks. This is the first time I've done my makeup in three weeks. And in case you're wondering, what do I have on? Uh, I have this palette on right here, the Ace, Be Ace Beauté Scarlet Dust Palette right here. Um, 
I have that on and um, my usual face makeup, which is, oh, and I am so in love with that Coco Contour Palette. Thank you, BoxyCharm. <laughs> I will say thank you when thank you is due. Glitz Glam Box, month of July. One of my all-time favorite subscriptions, as you guys know. Hey, Chanel. I hope she's watching. I'm going to tag her uh, and also put the timestamp so she knows where to come to see the box. I just wanted to give credit where credit is due, and I also needed to catch you guys up. Um, it's tough. I'm not 100%. I'm not going to lie. I still cry myself when I look. I, I, I still burst out in tears when I look at her. Um, when she gives me the look like, Mommy, please help me, and I can't, you know. But hopefully Friday we'll find out what's going on. Okay, so we have tissue, 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 tons of tissue. Box. Oh, ooh, caught my lip with the edge of that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we have nothing in there. We don't need that anymore, and we don't need this. And now, like I said, the cat has peek. I always have to be very careful where I put things. I put this in the box, and okay. So, oh, okay. So this is a disaster. This video is a disaster. I have so much stuff around me. I have not a room to breathe. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see me. I feel like I'm so far away from the camera, and it's just so weird. Okay. Anyway. As always, usually everything comes in a little, like, tamale, but in this one, we do have this gigantic thing, which is so cool, and some more tissue paper, which I'm going to put away, so I do not want. She, you know, Carly eats plastic. She likes uh, tissue paper. I bought some strips for the back over here, some pink ones, and she was chewing on the fabric today, so. <laughs> okay, so the name, uh, the theme for this month is Summer Soiree. Okay, so there you have, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, so there you have, I'm sorry, I have to get used to the cam, the, the, <laughs> the camera's on this side, guys, so I have to be left-handed. So there's the, there's the theme, and we do have a list of prices and items, okay, which, thank you, Jesus, all right. So the first thing is, this is the Glitz Glitter Pop, right? No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> not. Okay, been a minute. I'm, I'm going to be fine. Just hang on. Let me get myself. Set. I know my hair is going to end up going up in one of these uh, boxes. I know it. Okay, so we have the ice cream lashes. These are from J-Lash. And by the way, I don't know if you can see, I have J-Lash lashes on today. Very nice, very light, very easy to put on. Love them. Um, and we have another set right here, which is oh so cute. <laughs> it comes in a little thing like this, looks like a lollipop, and you can take it out. I like J Lashes, I really do. I, I, they're in the box quite often, and um, I'm always happy to see them. So there's that. And let me see, these are, this says uh, J Lash 3D Faux Mink Lashes in the style Sprinkle. So I guess, yeah, and there it says it right there, okay, oh, sorry, <laughs> right there, that's the sprinkle, and there's the J-Lash, and then of course it has on the back, you know, how to put them on, so let's take them out and see if I can get them out, I don't know if I how to do this, oh, please don't give me a hard time, no, no, see, since I don't need the outside part, which is oh so cute, and I would love to keep it, but it's giving me difficult time, oh, okay, there we go. So, they come in this little container like this, okay, as you can see. And these are some banging big lashes. <laughs> um, I have, I'm going to I'm gonna maybe email uh, Chanel or maybe she'll see this, I don't know. And I'm going to email her because I have ton, a ton, 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 ton of big lashes, like very long lashes like these right here. And I'm going to show you. Oh, I got to pop them off. Okay, there. Um, so it does open up like this, and so I'm assuming that you can store them back in there when you're done. comes apart like this. You have the, the case here. And then here are the lashes, guys. And just look at how big they are. I mean, oh my God, because I'm really reaching here. Let me, let me try and uh, get closer. So these are some honking big lashes. I'm going to uh, see if I can't talk to her, and uh, if they have a... Um, for the next boxes, the next couple boxes anyway, because I have so many big ones like this, I need some more like, like I have on now. These are very natural, but a little bit glam, and I like these a lot. So this is something I would wear every day, like this, this size right here. 
So I have a ton of these. I, I would really like to get some more natural ones. Well, there you have that. And these are valued at $8.99. I don't know if I told you that. So again, you can put them right back in and you can have your little case, which I do right here in my little drawer. Um, tons of lashes, eyelash glue, you name it, I got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. Okay, um, put this here. And then there's this little tamale thing that it always comes in, wrapped very nice with their little Glitz Glam Box sticker. It says, we don't do basic. Okay, and they sure don't. Um, yeah, basic, okay, I was gonna say. In a minute, guys. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna see here is, this is the, it's called the Glitter Glitz Pop. Glitter, uh, Glitz Glam Box is, it's our signature loose cosmetic glitter, lip, nail, skin, and eye safe, okay. Which is this cute little thing right here. And I just oh so love when, you know, they just, let me take it out of the package. Because I was, so I have, you know, I wasn't on social media, guys. So any of the boxes that I have here, mystery or otherwise, I only got like uh, Jovina Love. I want to do a shout out to her. Thank you, honey, for telling me about the Hank and Henry boxes. I finally got them. <laughs> Took a while. I think uh, I think I let you know, and it was right before all this stuff happened. So I still have that. I haven't opened it. Haven't even looked inside. So we have this little thing that comes off, and oh, this is so awesome. Now I have glitter on my face, guys, from the Elf. Oh, I can't set it anywhere. It's gonna tip over. No, no. Okay. It's a doe foot applicator. So, do you see that? I hope you can see that. Yeah, look at that. So that is so awesome. You can put them on your nails. You can, I, ooh, I like that. I like that it's easy to apply. You go, Glitz Glam. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, so the, this is valued at $8.99 and, oh wait, $9.99, I'm sorry. And I don't know which color this is, but it is like a gold, bronzy, copper beautiful I don't have this this particular exact shade so I'm happy always love some glitter let me tell you <laughs> I was using the elf glitter at least I was trying to put it on the inner corner and oh I got it everywhere I was with the, the little spoolies trying to scrape it off my face remember guys I haven't put makeup on in so so long I was like what do I do I sat staring at the mirror like oh my god where do I start <laughs> but um it's like riding a bike I guess I mean I I did have to uh I had a hard time, as many lippies, I have too many lippies, I couldn't figure which one to do. Oh, and I do have the Jeffree Star on with a touch of Lime Crime on top of it. And, um, and the Jeffree Star that I have here is Rose Matter, so that's the, the lip. And then I have, of course, this gloss on top with, um, this is the Lime Crime uh, Diamond Crushers. I love this. I, this is the only lippy that I have so far that I've like, what do they call it? I, I can't, you can't say hit pan, but... I've gotten like, it's almost like I got to throw it away. It's almost gone. All right. So there's that. And um, again, that this little glitter pop here is valued at $9.99. And then we have Buzzed in Blush Palette. Okay. That would be this one. It says Italia Deluxe in style rose all day or Cosmo kind of night blush highlight palette buildable glam. Okay. So. This is Buzzed in Blush, and I'll show you here how it's, what it says. Buzzed in Blush. And I'm assuming, oh, and it does come apart. Hang on, let me open it. So I believe, is it, is there plastic on this? I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. Is there? Oh, gosh, no. Oh, it's taped, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's taped. Let me cut it. I hope I don't scratch the palette. Hold on. Okay. No. Okay, got it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, my God. I like that. So check that out. That's pretty awesome. Let me just hold. There's no mirror. So, and that's pretty true to the colors. I want to say. I'm pretty. You know, I'm liking that an awful lot. Yeah, I am. And these are definitely the colors. There's a couple shimmers, highlighters. You've got your blush. I'm sorry. You've got your blush. You've got your blush again. You can even contour with some of these colors. And then of course your highlighters. Wow, I'm digging that a lot. So this is by, who is this from? Oh, Italia Deluxe. I guess that's the brand name. I didn't know. Yep, Ita Italia Deluxe. And here it is again. That's the packaging. Cute packaging. Okay, so this is valued at, 
uh, $9.99 as well. Okay, so yeah, there you go. I want to swatch it, but for time's sake, I'm not going to. And last but not least, we have the Diamond Matte Lip Gloss Duo. This is from Vermilion Cosmetics. Diamond Matte Lipstick Gloss Topper, uh, 18 to 24 hour wear time. Wow, that's a big claim, hey? And look at this color, guys. This is, yeah. See, I could have wore this with what I'm wearing today with something over it. And then, of course, there you have the gloss. Now, I'm not going to open it and swatch it, but the color is coming off pretty pretty close to what it looks like. This camera is way better, I must say. It better be. I'm going to be paying for it forever. <laughs> Just kidding. Finally, I got one, you know. I was crushed when that phone broke. I mean, I couldn't blame her, you know, like... She was just trying to get away from me. But anyway, so here you have it, guys, okay? Um, so I will leave the total up here somewhere. Um, huh. So this is Glitz Glam Box for the month of July. And Chanel, um, sorry I took a breather. Uh, I mean, I'm here to do your unboxing if she is seeing this. Uh, and I'm back, guys. Um, all I can say is that I apologize I will know more um, if things aren't going well. I will get on here and tell you that things are go not going well and explain to you why they're not going well, what's going on with me. Um, even if I have to cry through the whole thing, um, I think it's better that I tell you guys what's going on. I made a mistake. I should have never retreated because, you know, a week turned into like 10 days and then 10 days turned into two weeks and then two weeks was like three weeks and I'm like... Oh my God, like, do I even have a channel left? You know, um, scared to death. But anyway, you know what? It is what it is. I made a mistake and I've learned from that mistake. So no longer will I be missing again, guys. If I get on here and start to cry, <laughs> don't say anything, please. Just be happy that I'm on here, you know? Um, I missed you guys. I did. I should have just came and said something to you because this is my sanctuary. This is where I come to feel better, you know? And, and I'm sure if I, once I bawled and got it out, um, I probably would have felt much better. I used my boyfriend's shoulder to cry on for most part. Um, thank God for him. Thank God for him because none of any of this would be possible if he had not helped me like financially, emotionally, um, help me get back in front of the camera. You know, he really did. Um, love you, baby. <laughs> he's watching. Uh, he said he started watching my videos. Oh. We, I do have HelloFresh. Um, we did record a video before Carly got sick of he and I. I think I, I might have mentioned it. I don't know. We have to film the intro to it. That's the only thing. And we did since get another box. So well, I'm not sure if we're going to put the old video or the new one up because we're going to try and crunch it. It turned out to be like 40 minutes long or something. Like It was supposed to be a 35-minute meal, but it ended up being like 40-something minutes long. So I'm going to try and like do another one and see how I can get it shorter and maybe put that up so you guys can see it. And no, it's not sponsored. I wish, but it's not. Um, it's just something that I wanted to do. And, uh, now that he was, you know, came back from his job and stuff and it was here, he's here now all the time. Not here. He's at his place. I'm at mine. Um, but we're always together, you know? So there you have it guys. Again, Glitz Glam Box, uh, the summer story for the month of July. And I will leave the link, you know, I'll leave the, um, also, yeah, I'll link everything down below. This description is $15, um, and $2.99 for shipping. And I will leave a link down below, um, if you're interested in signing up. And, um, so I see you in the next one. Be safe. And <laughs> I dare say, reach out to someone because I need to take my own advice. Reach out to someone, see if they're doing okay. Um, if you're not doing okay, reach out to someone and ask for help. And most of all, stay safe. See you guys. Bye.